afternoon and welcome once again to the Alumni Special. My name is Dilly McFarlane and I'll be your hostess for the next coming weeks while I interview some interesting Mount people, alumni, and uh, others who are interested in what our alumni are doing. I'm very happy to welcome today again Mary Reynolds, who is going to start the program off with a tune. What are you going to play All for right. us, Mary? Uh, please come to Boston. Sounds like a great idea to me. Please come to Boston for the springtime I'm staying with some friends and they've got lots of room You can sell your paintings on the sidewalk By a cafe where I hope to be working soon Please come to Boston, and she just said no. Would you come home to me? And she said, Ramblin' boy, why don't you settle down? Cause Boston ain't your kind of town. There ain't no gold, and there ain't nobody like me. Cause I'm the number one fan of the man from Tennessee. Please come to Denver for the snowfall, yeah. We'll move so high in the mountains and know that we can't be found. I'll shout I love you echoes across the canyons. And then lie awake and wait till they come back around. Please come to Denver. Just said no. Would you come home to me? And she said, Ramblin' boy, why don't you settle down? Cause Denver ain't your kind of town. There ain't no gold and there ain't nobody like me. Cause I'm the number one fan of the man from Tennessee. Well, this drifter's world goes round and round and I doubt if it's ever gonna stop and all the dreams I've lost and found yes and all that I ain't got I still need to cling to somebody I can sing to come to LA where we'll live forever cause California life alone just too hard to take I've got a house that looks out over the ocean and some stars that fell from the sky live up on the hill please come to LA and she just said no would you come home to me and she said rambling boy why don't you settle down L.A. ain't your kind of town There ain't no gold and there ain't nobody like me Cause I'm the number one fan of the man from Tennessee Yes, I'm the number one fan of the man from Tennessee That was great, mm, Mary. Thanks. You still haven't lost it. Well, a bit of a cold today. Yeah, yes. yeah. I think that's a, that's probably a problem that a lot of people are sharing with you today. That's right, yeah. yes. It's good to see you again. Thanks. Yeah. It's good to be back. Right. Now tell me what's new with you since I guess we haven't been talking to you since before Christmas. That's right. Did you have a yeah. good one? Yeah, it was wonderful. Was your family home? Yeah, my brother and uh, one of my sisters came down from Toronto. Oh, so Martha. That, yeah. yeah. She's Martha's an alumna, isn't she? She is, yeah. yeah she, she didn't complete her degree here. I think she finished it at Dow, but mm -hmm. uh, she was here for high school. Yes, uh, at the academy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. And yeah. uh, anyway, so the seven of us were together and we had a great time, just oh. relaxed and uh, That's good. Um, enjoyed ourselves. Good, yeah. good. Um, I was uh, happy to hear you play that song. You know what it reminded me of? was the uh, theater tour that we went on to New York. Right. You and I and Judy Kavanaugh, yeah. these are all alumni yeah. now, of course, Judy Kavanaugh, Annette Camo, yeah. Elaine Saka, Elaine Saka and um, 
several other people. Yeah, <laughs> it, it seemed like the five of us rather stuck together. Yeah. We had some wonderful times. Sure did. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that the night that fun. you met Elizabeth Taylor? Yes. That was yeah, pretty exciting. I remember exciting. when you met her. Yeah, yeah that was great. Yeah, and um, we met one of the stars of the soap operas, Elaine and I, when we were in the that cafe. That's right. Very yes, nice. I missed yeah. out on that. Yeah. No, well, you were good and went straight home to bed after the show. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that yeah, was probably yeah, that's right. But uh, we did have, we had fun <laughs> uh, at the Empire State Building. That's right, and yeah. And Elaine had her purse stolen. That's right, mm. yeah. What else do we... Oh, I, I remember the day in Greenwich Village. Oh, and we were yes. drinking all that sangria and oh, that singing lovely. the songs from Joseph mm -hmm. and his amazing Technicolor Dream coat. Oh, yeah, that was great. We had a lot of fun with that. Yeah. Uh, th that... Yeah. Um, that theater tour is going again this year, you know. Sister Geraldine Anthony uh, alternates every year. Uh, one right. year the tour goes to New York, and another another year it'll go to London. That's right. And you and yeah. I haven't made the London show tour yet, but, you know, there's always <laughs> yeah. down the line. But this year, of course, they're going to New York. Or, no, they're going to, to London. That's right. Well, so, um, are you sure, though? I, I, they were in London last year when I was there. Oh, right. Well, maybe they're going because of the American dollar. I think they're going back again oh. this year. Yeah. But um, it's a wonderful deal. It's something like $800 yeah. for your return airfare and a hotel accommodation for six nights, I believe, and a couple of show tickets thrown in. So it's yeah. a, wonderful, a wonderful package, that's for sure. Oh, it is. London's exciting, too. Yeah. I'd love to go back. Oh, Mary. Do you miss London? Um, I miss certain things, yeah. I miss the, well, the fact that you are able to go out and do something new every day. Mm -hmm. Go to another museum or another art gallery or just uh, one thing I didn't do a lot of was uh, wander around the old the old London. The, the um, It's called just the city. The, um, mm -hmm. But ah, there's so many things to do and so many shows to see and uh, mm -hmm. oh gosh I'd love to go back. Yeah. yeah but you're happy to be home just the same. I am yeah I, yeah. I love Halifax and uh, I noticed today getting onto the bus, I, I had forgotten to get a transfer. This is one of the simple little things about Halifax that uh, <laughs> you like. <laughs> but I forgot to get my transfer from the four Fairview and uh, I didn't have enough change to pay again. So I went on, I got onto the 16 and I said, you're probably not going to believe this, but I forgot to get a transfer off the four. And he said, no, oh, no, I believe you. And I said, well, thanks a lot. That's <laughs> great. It probably wouldn't have happened <laughs> in London, right? No, that's right. Oh, that's good. It's, it's, good. it's good to see you back here again, too. I was just uh, recalling uh, some of the other things that we did uh, together. You were involved in a number of very interesting activities as you were, when you were a student here. Mm -hmm. um, I rem remember the year that um, you attended the undergraduate English conference mm -hmm. at the University of New Brunswick and actually presented a paper. Mm -hmm. What was the topic of that paper? Do you remember? Yes, yeah, that was my favorite paper. Uh, it was called Caliban Upon Setabas, A Contemplative Experience. And that's a poem by Robert Browning, which I just loved. It's a very difficult poem, and I spent so much time going over and over and over it that I, I wound up, you know, thinking it was the greatest thing I'd ever read. But you know what happened? The thing that happened with that paper was that um, we, after I presented it in class, you and uh, a couple of others uh, and I went out to the bistro for for dinner. Yes. And when, remember when we got when we came back to the car? Your car had been broken into. And my knapsack, as well as Stephen Broom's, right. was stolen. So all of my preliminary notes, the, the paper, oh, I didn't have an, right. a copy at home, and uh, you know, a bunch of textbooks were stolen. And of course, you have um, you know five and six other major papers to worry about. So that if you wind up having to redo one, it's a major setback. And uh, I'll never forget that. That was agony. And so in and redoing I, it, did you find that you were happier with the second no, try? No, it wasn't I no, I honestly feel that it, w it just wasn't as good as the first one. And uh, oh, I, couldn't, I couldn't get everything back. But still, Sister liked the second one as well. Uh, was that Sister Agnes Martha that, Westwaters? That's course. right. Yeah. yeah, she was my mentor and good oh, friend. Oh, I know mine too. Yeah. Oh, I really need that in my yeah. life, for whatever I'm doing. Well, she's still around, you know. Oh, I know. She's still here. Yeah, I'm kind of her. avoiding her cause <laughs> <laughs> because um, I don't have any news about, uh, you know, new and wonderful things that I'm planning for my future. And I, I don't want to disappoint her. Well, <laughs> so I'm until sure I have some great news that I'm going to. Well, not actually, gonna mentors visit. are people that you need uh, before to, go, yeah. to get you going, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure she'd. Uh, so, sister, if you're watching. Uh, this is Mary Reynolds. <laughs> She'll be I coming up. <laughs> Guess I'll be over soon. <laughs> I think you're probably doing just fine, Mary. I think uh, you look like you're happy. You know, I understand that um, 
you are considering some wild adventures? Well, it depends. I, I'm not sure. You know, mm -hmm. I am thinking what I'll do in the next few months is uh, move to Toronto. Of course, my immediate concern is saving up the money and uh, helping out with certain things at home, like mm -hmm. paying for car accidents, which I've just had <laughs> with oh, my mom's no. new car. Nobody but, was um, at home. No, 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 very minor, but mm -hmm. still a little financial Expensive, setback. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I'll take care of things here over the next few months. Mm -hmm. And one of my brothers is very involved in the music business in Toronto. He works with yes. Champagne Films, and he's been producing and directing rock videos and, and the films and stuff like that. And anyway, he, he's really keen to have me up there. I don't know what I can do, but... Well, you never know until you get there. That's right, that's yeah. right. He that's wants me to sing, but, sure. you know, you really have to know what you want. Uh, I'm not positive if I, if I want to take that direction yet. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I'll know in the next few months. Well, you'll never really know until you try. That's right. And it's a good testing ground for you because both your brother and your sister are there. Mm -hmm. And yep. you have other relatives there as oh, well. Oh, yeah. So you'll be all right. Yeah. I wonder if um, the big question, of course, is Toronto ready for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they probably are. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. what kind of music? It probably wouldn't be guitar music, would No, they? because I, I can't yeah. seem to uh, g uh, dedicate myself to improving my guitar. Okay. I mean, I, uh, I've gone nowhere over the last two years, really. I, uh, yeah. Know, with uh, playing. Mm -hmm. I am in some guitar lessons now and I'm hoping that'll help a bit. But oh, well, good for you. Yeah. Well, you're but taking uh, steps toward um, yeah, doing things yeah. together. That's but I don't seem so dedicated as a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I certainly am not ready to spend five hours a day working on my guitar. So have you and heard from Alan Lee? Yes, I saw him at Christmas. Mary's partner in crime at the dinner theater, the piano bar duo of Mary Reynolds and Alan Lee. It's become quite famous if not infamous. <laughs> so you say you heard from him over Christmas. Ah uh, yes, yeah, got together with him and he's doing really well. He, after he graduated, he went to Europe for four months and then came back home for a few months and then moved to Ottawa. And he got a job with the Yamaha School of Music and within about seven months has um, been promoted to the director of the school. So yes, he's exactly doing really nervous. well and he loves it. Yeah. You know, and he's so talented. Oh, it's we miss him, Mary. Fabulous. And I'm sure you miss him especially yeah. with your music. Oh yeah, but it was great to see so. him again. You well, he, I could go up there actually and you could. stay with. Where the, is the school of music that he's well, working at? Well, it's in uh, Nepean. Oh, well, Ottawa. that's no distance at all. It's a, it's mm. well, hop, step, and a jump. Mm, that's where right. you'll be getting together. We have a wonderful alumni group in Toronto, very supportive group that have been there for years and years. Mm -hmm. And if you're planning on going to Toronto, we're certainly going to put you in touch with uh, all Great. kinds of people up there that will be happy to hear from you. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to uh, to also ask you about. Uh, What's this about you and the Dominican Republic? You've been expressing an interest in oh, some well. kind of service in the third world. Yes, well, that's where I'm really sort of torn. I, I'm not at, not sure, but I would love. Uh, for the last five years, I've thought about, uh, I don't know, teaching, doing some sort of work mm -hmm. in an underdeveloped community, mm -hmm. you know, presumably in the third world or yeah. somewhere in Latin America. And um, I know that Eileen Murphy, the head of the Home Ex Department, has... Um, a nutritional clinic in the Dominican Republic. I don't know anything about her program. I want to speak to her this week to f to find out. But mm -hmm. um, I'm just kind of hoping maybe uh, you know after a few months in Toronto, if mm -hmm. if I don't particularly like it, then I think probably I'll head for something like that. Mm -hmm. Do some work. I checked into when I was in my last year at the Mount. I checked into groups like CUSO and Scarborough Foreign Missions. Mm -hmm. um, You'll be able to visit them in Toronto, you know. I will. Yeah. 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 So you could actually do some groundwork on one campaign while you're working on the other one. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's Mary, have you got another tune for us? Moving right along here. Sure. Oh, yeah. Before you do that, I want to mention something. I heard that you were at your first fitness class today in a year. Yes, I'm really out of shape these yeah, days. Yeah, well, you know what? You should hang on after you finish playing this tune because we're followed by the 20 minute workout. Oh, okay. So if you want to hang in for a few minutes afterwards, we'll pick up where you left off. All right. Yeah. Okay. So what are you going to sing for us now? Well, moving on. What a great idea. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Like a long, lonely stream, I keep running toward a dream. Free, moving. 